and this way your squad will be filled with a squad full of soldiers. There are over 50 new teams in FIFA 23, but Kim Chun Sung Moo is by far the most interesting team. Why you may ask? Well, because it's owned by the South Korean military. In South Korea there is a rule that every male must serve in the military before the age of 28, with no exemptions given to professional football players. Kim Jin Sung Moo FC is a unique club in its own way, and it's made up of professional South Korean footballers who are serving their military duty at the same time. This club is owned by the national military and at this club these players can still continue their footballing careers whilst also serving their military duty at the same time. And so, each South Korean male has to do a service of 18 months to 2 years in the army. But as Kim Jin Sung Moo got promoted to the first division of South Korean professional football last season, they are now in FIFA 23 as well. And that is why I made this video of course. Maybe you are interested in using this unique club in career mode and if so, be sure to stick around till the end of the video where I will give you a few tips and rules you can follow in a career mode with Kim Jun Sang Moo. Anyways, as the club squad exists of players in the army, there is a huge overhaul in the squad every 6 to 12 months as there are players who begin their military service duty. And there are also players who leave the club on a consistent basis as they reach the end of their period in the army. And because of this, their squad is consistently filled with 30 to 40 players in total. There are a lot of professional South Korean footballers who start their military service each year, which means the club squad has to be very selective. And of course, not every South Korean footballer is fortunate enough to get an invite to play for Kim Jun Sang Moo. Playing for them means that players can still play professional football on a regular basis whilst doing their military services. Players who are not selected or not deemed good enough to play for the club cannot play for any other K-League, K2 League or even a K3 League team during their period in the army. They can however play for a K4 League team but that is similar to a semi-professional level. And this also means that these players have to do other work throughout the day as they don't have to train 5 or 6 times a week. But there is a way to get out of this military duty, or at least for a big part of it. You might know about the story of national team captain Heung Min Son. The Premier League star had one last chance to win a gold medal at the Asian Games or otherwise he would have had to leave Tottenham for two years and serve his military duty in South Korea. The 2002 South Korea World Cup squad also got an exemption of serving their military duty as they managed to reach the semi-finals of this World Cup. Although this is still one of the most controversial World Cups in history due to apparent match fixing scandals from South Korea, all of their players got an exemption and didn't have to serve the full 18 months to 2 years of military duty. Fortunate enough for Heung Min Son and every other South Korean footballer who were playing in the 2018 Asian Games, they managed to win a gold medal. This gives these players an exemption of serving the full 2 years and they only have to do 1 month, which is of course beneficial for their footballing career. You can only get this exemption when you are a high profile athlete who has either won an Olympic medal, won a gold medal at the Asian Games or reached the semi-finals of the World Cup. If you are not contracted to a K-League club before joining the army and you haven't won an Olympic medal or a gold medal at the Asian Games and let's say you play in the Premier League or the Bundesliga, you will not be able to play for Kim Jun Sang Moo. These players will have to play for a K4 league team and so see a dramatic change in their day-to-day footballing life, going from the top level of football to a semi-professional level in South Korea and not even training every day. A lot of players that play professionally outside of South Korea normally move back to South Korea before joining the army to make sure they can actually play at Kim Jun Sang Moo and to at least keep playing at a professional level whilst also serving their military duty at the same time. When a player is playing at a different K-League team and they have to go and do their military service, their current contract at their club is put on some sort of pause. The players won't get their regular football salary, but get a similar salary every soldier gets. And let's say if a player still has 2 years on his current club contract and has to join the army for 2 years, these years will basically be put on hold. And when the player finishes his military duty, he can go back to his original team and play there for at least the next 2 years. And just to be clear, the players aren't on loan during their period at Kim Jong Sang Moo, despite it looking like they are. As Kim Jong Sang Moo has a very unique selection process, this can lead to some interesting things that can only happen at this club. Because the pool of players that are available to the club isn't decided by them, the squad might be quite skewed at some points. The club might get 5 or 6 K-League quality strikers at once and only have one the next season. This causes a dilemma for the club every season. And just to give an example, when the club has a lack of defenders, they can pick a few lower quality defenders but that would also mean that there are a few K1 league quality strikers left out. 
and that they have to play at a semi-professional level. An interesting fact is that in the 2018 South Korean squad that went to the World Cup, there were two players selected that were actually playing for Kim Jong sung moo at the time. And this is interesting because Kim Jong sung moo were actually playing in the second division at the time. And the players actually got a special absence period for a few weeks to go to the World Cup. But the future isn't all sunshine and rainbows, because if the South Korean football team don't win an Olympic medal or a gold medal at the Asian Games within the next 5 to 8 years, then Kim Jong Sung Moo might get a big influx of hugely talented players added to their squad, as the overall level of South Korean footballers is currently better than ever. But that would also mean that some high quality players will be left out and will have to play at a semi-professional level in the K4 league. And that could lead to K4 league teams being even better than K3 league teams or even K2 league teams. But there have been a few people that have suggested to actually do a sort of coefficient system for South Korean footballers who play in the top 6 or 7 European leagues. Players that do well can then also get an exemption from their military service duty, continuing their footballing career like normal. This would also benefit the general level of South Korean football, the general view of South Korea in other continents, and it would make the national team much stronger as well. I will now give you 8 tips on how you can implement this in FIFA 23 career mode if you want to do a career mode with Kim Jong Sang Moo. First off, the squad. In terms of bringing in players, I would recommend to mostly use the loan system and just loan in players for a one or two year period. If it's not possible to loan certain players, you could try to buy them. Although the club has never bought any player in real life and you will have a very low transfer budget from the start. But of course FIFA isn't the most realistic and because you can't get players the same way Kim Jong Sang Moo gets them in real life, then I will accept the fact that you'd have to buy a few players with a transfer fee. Regarding players that have to leave the club, you can't keep players for more than two seasons. If you loan in players for a two year period, then this period will run out like normal. If you bought players with a transfer fee, keep track of how many seasons each of these players are at the club. If they reach their two year period, sell them or if you don't get any offers, terminate their contracts. Be aware that you can't buy or loan any of the players that were in the 2018 Asian Games South Korea squad. Of course, this squad won the gold medal and these players didn't have to do military service at the time. You can see the full list of players that were participating on your screen right now, with the most notable players being Hung Min Son, of course, Huang Hee Chan, who now plays for Wolves, and Kim Min Ye, who now plays for Napoli. And if it wasn't clear enough, you can only sign South Korean players in a safe with Kim Jong Sang Moo, and this way your squad will be filled with a squad full of soldiers. Be sure to use the search players option in career mode to find yourselves players for your squad. Of course, players have to be aged 28 or under when they join Kim Jin Sang Moo. And once again, these players can stay there for a maximum of two years. This means you can't buy players aged 29 or older, but you can sign a 28 year old and keep him for two years. As it's very hard to find out which South Korean players have already done their military duty and are perhaps still aged 28 or under, I will give you a bit of space to just sign any South Korean player, aged 28 or under of course, except for the players who completed in the 2018 Asian Games for South Korea. Another important thing I would suggest is to write down which players you already had at the club and who already did their military service, so you don't sign them for a second time. And the real challenge is of course to win the K-League in FIFA 23 with Kim Jong Sang Moo. Your team will change drastically every season which will keep the safe very fresh and due to the very limited transfer budget, you won't be able to sign some of the better South Korean players from the start. And that is why I think Kim Jong Sang Moo is the most interesting football club out there at the moment and if you want to try them in FIFA 23 career mode, you should definitely give them a try. If you enjoyed this video then be sure to give it a like and subscribe to my channel to help me get to 20,000 subscribers and let me know in the comments if you will do a career mode with Kim Jong Sang Moo in FIFA 23. And I will see you at the next video.